Hello everyone, today I'm going to do a video in English as requested on Instagram and it's going to be about my favorite purses of 2013. All bags in this video have been reviewed previously in my previous video. Most of them are in Thai but I hope the visual aids would help. Let's get started with the first bag and it is Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 in Damir Edin. It is a kind of worry free bag to me. I can carry it on any occasion or even on a rainy day. And when I cannot think about you know any bag I would carry on a day, I just carry this one. Next favorite bag is Louis Vuitton Eva Clutch. It comes with the you know long strap, so I can use it as a crossbody bag as well. I like Eva Clutch because it's very versatile. And when I travel, I usually, you know, bring Eva clutch and put in my luggage. So I have another spare small bags when I travel as well. The third one is Louis Vuitton mini pochette. I love the mini pochette. I have another one in monogram canvas. I found it is very easy to carry around, you know, as a clutch when I run a small errand or, you know, when I go out for coffee with friends or things like that. I can carry my dairy essential inside, such as, you know, keys, uh, small cash, and like a lip gloss and lip balm. So that's all I carry in a day. So this size is enough for me. I can use mini pochette as a cosmetic bag. So I can just transfer this, you know, mini pochette from one bag to another bag. So I don't need to actually, you know, uh, swap everything around. So it's very easy and convenient for me. Next is the classic Lady Dior bag by Christian Dior. And this one is a medium size. I actually have the medium size and a large size. Initially, I thought I would use the large size more for work. However, after I've been using them, you know, for a few years, I found I reached for uh, medium size than the large size. And if you can have only one Lady Dior bag, I would recommend to go for the medium size because I think it's more versatile. The large size Lady Dior is a bit bulky and it's quite heavy because you know, it's all lambskin so it's quite heavy bag to carry around. So I would go for the medium size if I can have only one. The Lady Dior bag would be one of the bags that I would keep. I would never sell it, I would say. I think it's a classic and timeless piece. Next favorite bag is Chanel Wallet on Chain. I really love the Wallet on Chain. I have two. One is the pink lambskin, which is this one, and another one is the black color. I love both of them equally. However, I got a lot of compliments when I used this pink Wallet on Chain. Um, I really love the wallet on chain. I actually plan to have another one in the classic timeless CC, which is the black caviar leather with the big double C at the front. But I still cannot find it in Australia at the moment. Let's have a look at my last favorite bag of 2013. And I would say it is the most favorite bag as well. That's it, it is the Chanel classic flap and this one is in lambskin with gold hardware and it's a medium large size or 10 inches. It is the first Chanel bag that my husband bought for me so it is quite sentimental. If I can choose only one bag, you know, amongst other bags in my collection at the moment, December 2013, it's gonna be this bag. I actually have two classic flaps. One is in uh, medium large size, which is, which is this one, and another one is the jumbo size. Initially, I wanted the jumbo size, but after I got both of them, I actually prefer the medium large size. I found the jumbo size is a bit too bulky and too heavy for my frame. And for your reference, my height is 163 centimeters. I found that only the medium large size is enough for my daily essentials to carry around. So it all depends on your personal preference as well. If you would like you not know, to carry more things around, probably jumbo size would be better for you. But for me, I like the medium large size. That's all about my very purses of 2013. If you have any question, please leave a comment down below and I get back to you as soon as possible. Or you can reach me on Instagram, that might be easier. I hope I would do more YouTube video in English for next year, 2014, or I might just add more English subtitles on my YouTube video. Thank you very much everyone for watching. I hope you guys enjoy my videos and I hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I see you all again next year. Thank you very much and goodbye.